hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm back with another promotional video as promised before whenever i do new headboards i'll do videos like this just to show you what the headboard looks like so today of course i'm doing the photo shoot on a new designer headboard but i'm going to do something different for you guys instead of just showing you the headboard i'm going to show you how to spread your bed or to make your bed look expensive plush elegant like a hotel room bed so guys let's just get right to the video now guys this is a bed this is a queen bed we'll get to the headboard after so this bed has on a mattress cover which is very good because the mattress cover it helps to protect the mattress i like this type of mattress cover because it has it is soft it is plush and it gives the bed some height so the first thing you'll do is to start with your fitted sheet Guys, this fitted sheet is bigger than the bed because the fitted sheet is for a king bed. So I'm just making sure that I tuck everything under. Here you have it guys, that's the fitted sheet. So now I'm going to add the flat sheet. So this is a flat sheet. So the next stage guys is to fold the flat sheet under like a hotel fold. What you're going to do is so, so that's the sheet there. Take it up your whole this side, like a 45 degree angle. And you tuck this part under, and then you tuck this part under, and then you have the fold right here. And then you just fold, you just tuck, and you tuck. I'm not, I'm not going to tuck all the way up because I'm going to add another sheet to fold. But usually guys, usually you will just tuck all the way up and then fold over. But because I'm adding another sheet to give the mattress some more height and depth, I'm not going to tuck under the top part. So you will just tuck this part. So I'm going to fold on this side. So let me show you how I fold on this side. So remember, you just like to give it a 45 degree angle. Angle, you know, top under. And then here you have your nice fold under. Good. Then top. Then the next thing you'll come in, you usually come in with it is your duvet or your comforter. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to use a comforter, but it is not fat or full. It's not flush. So I want to add some more height to the bed because I want it to look, you know, luxurious and nice and plushy and elegant. So she has another duvet, which is not in the color that she wants to use. So I'm going to add the duvet. So this is a blue one, so like I said, we're not going to use this one for the display, so we're improvising. I'm trying to get it even. So usually guys, say for example, if you were, you, you were going to use this duvet, all you have to do is just to fold it over like this, and then you add pillows. But she wants to use another spread comforter and it's very thin so we're just using this one like i said before to create some height 
So I'm going to do the same thing I did with the flat sheet. I'm going to do the same mitre fold. See? So you see how it looks now? So now the bed is much more fuller. And I'm just gonna fold, tuck. It's so heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna give it two folds because it's too long. Nice and clean on this side. And the other side, no, let me tuck this part. So that's it. The bed is more fuller, it's more higher, it's more plush, it's more elegant. So that's the fold and tuck. So now I'm going to add my comforter. So this is a comforter, this is a reverse of a comforter. So you can use it on this side or this side. So I'm going to use it on this side. So I'm trying to straighten the comforter and follow the pattern in the comforter to ensure that it's straight. Okay. So now I'm going to fold over. This is what I wanted to show. I'm going to fold over this part. And I want to show the orange to create a nice contrast with the beige and orange. So I just fold over this part. Okay guys, now that I'm finished making the bed, it's time for me to add the pillows. So I'm adding a white pillow here. So you can add your pillows in different, in different style. So I'll be showing you two styles, but after I add the headboard, I'll show you another style. So I just put this white one behind this decorative one here, just to add some eyes. To go around that side to fix that one. After that, no, now I'm adding my decorative pillows. Adding my decorative pillows. Just try to tuck the tab underneath. Adding cushions. Decorative cushions. Try to add the tags. I don't like to see the tags. So let me see if I can fix over this side. This side is a bit. These pillars are long. So this is one style. I'll show you another one after I install the headboard. And then what I usually do is just Give the pillow, the cushions, a little chop, just to give it some style. 
This is how you can spread your bed to make it look luxurious, expensive and looks like a hotel looking bed. Comment down below and let me know how do you spend, spread your bed, like if you have done it differently, you know what, if I, if I could have done something different, you know, just comment down below and let me know if you really like it. So guys, I love the look, I love the feel, it's high. It feels plush, it feels elegant, it just feels nice, it feels like I want to just, you know, like I want to sleep now. So guys, now we're going to move on to the fun part, the headboard and the matching storage box, guys. So, let's get right to that now. look up that yeah yeah that's what they call it I'm gonna check the spelling what I like about this this is a family of, from the velvet the suede family but what I like about this headboard guys um, it has some textured look to it it feels soft it's not like it really texturized and all that but the look it's look textured because it has some line line running all over in it guys I, you need to come get come on closer so that they can actually see it. come on closer i'm going to give you a view of the lines that i'm talking about so that's it guys i love it and it feels so good it feels like suede it feels so nice and what brings it off and what gives gives it the popping look it's a color it's dark brown i love it i love it i love it it's the first i'm using this fabric and I'm just gonna name this one the Yaya. That's what I'm gonna name this one. So this is so nice. So guys, if you like this headboard and you want me to make one for you, just connect with me on Instagram. I'm gonna post all of these pictures on Instagram. Check out my Instagram page at Freakers underscore designs. Connect with me and I can make you a nice headboard. Just mention the Yaya guys. I really love it. It's the first time I'm using the fabric and I just can't believe that it came out looking so great. So this is so nice. I love the headboard. Love the look, love the decor and all. And now this is a storage box. This is a matching storage box. The fabric used here is suede. So this is a storage box that will go with the headboard. She wanted a suede storage box. She didn't want the same color. She wanted some change in color you know dimensions with the color so the fabric used here is sweet so this one is nice of course i love it it's elegant the width is 15 and the length is 40 inches i'm going to show you another way in which you can place your pillows you can put them up like this way then you'll add your decorative pillow. I just have a little overlap block because these pillows are very long. And then, so basically you'll see the little white at the back showing. And then, Add your decorative cushion.
This is another way in which you can place your pillows and your decorative cushions. And of course, your storage box. You can take all this when you're ready to sleep. Take all of these stuff and you store them in here. Just store them in here. You know, store as much as you want. You don't want to add your pillows. If you don't want a lot of pillows, the box is big enough. You can store a lot. <laughs> so that's it, guys. So guys, there you have it. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, that red button down below, just press it now guys and turn it green. Thank you so much guys. Comment down below. Let me know how you think, what you think about the video. Just comment, just leave your own opinion. Tell me what I could have done differently. Tell me how you spread your bed. Tell me how you improvise, because I know a lot of us sometimes we don't have duvet, we don't have comforter. Tell me how you make your bed look luxurious. Bye guys, thank you for watching. See you in my next DIY video. Keep it